Man, look at that cover. George Perez, goodness, man. That is just an awesome book. Got it an 8.5. Got it for under fair market value. I think this thing could be a 9.2. So, bought it. Gonna crack it. We're gonna press it, clean it, all that good stuff. And let's see what we can do with this thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of the case. We'll take a closer look. So initial impressions are, this is one gorgeous book. I mean, look at that. This spine, it is very, very hard to find a spine in a book from 1980 that looks this good. There is only, there's a tiny color break there, maybe? And one right there, so two tiny color breaking ticks. I mean, that is like very, very, very hard to find on this age book. So yeah, the greens are nice. It pops at you. Still got most of its color, gloss, everything's intact. So as far as defects, we have quite a few little bends right here, top right corner. This one is listed as a crunch in the notes. We have this is bent over a little bit on top edge. There's no color breaks there. There is a slight little color break here and here, unfortunately. So I think that's what probably caps us at like a 9.2. But yeah, I mean, it presents like a 9.6, I would say, if you just looked at it like right here. If you just glanced at the spine, the coloring, all that stuff. So that's really, really cool. Um, so you get a 9.0 or 9.2 book that presents like a 9.6 or even 9.8. I mean, you buy the book, not the grade, right? So here we go. We got a few thumb bends right here, easily correctable here. This is bent. This whole the fling is flapped up at one time, no color breaks. Corners are pretty sharp. You know, look at look how sharp that is. So this is going to be a good looking book once we get it pressed. There's some bends here on the bottom. Don't see any color break there. You know, it's just got general, general, normal handling where somebody read this book, somebody owned this book, somebody enjoyed this book. So um, Spine has several ticks on the back here, all of which can be cleaned up and flattened. A little crunch here on the top. That's going to be no problem, I don't think. This corner's been bent over. We should be able to clean that up a lot. Um, right here, this was kind of a crunch on the bottom too. That's going to be cleanable. Uh, there is a little ding here on the bottom. And that's certainly going to keep us probably capped at 9.4 with that. But once again, we already think this is a 9.2 cap book, so that's fine. So there's a bend here, like a thumb bend. So yeah, it's mostly just handling wear on this book with a couple middle minor color breaks. So I could definitely see this getting... On a bad day, 9.0. This is certainly not an 8.5 book when, once it's going to be cleaned and pressed. This is a 9.0 plus. 9.2. I'd say probably 70% of the time this is going to get a 9.2 once I'm done. That's I'm pretty confident in, in that. You know, maybe 10% of the time it gets, you know, or 15% of the time it gets 9.4. 15% of the time somebody has a bad day and gives us a 9.0. But yeah, anything higher than 8.5, we're getting to the 9s. That's... I mean, it's definitely worth going after regardless of price. As I always say, we're not doing this for the money. The money is secondary. We're doing this because we want to improve these books and save them for posterity and improve the quality of the books and just, you know, just keep them nice <laughs> as long as possible. That's why I do this. If you're doing this just for grade bumps and then for pure dollars, I mean, you do want to factor dollars in if you're going to do a flip or something like that. But this is going to be my book. I don't think I'm selling this one. I'm, this is going to go on my wall. If you're doing it for the money or all that stuff, I mean, obviously it's great to invest. Everybody has their own way of collecting. But in my opinion, if you're doing it just for that, you know, <laughs> you're doing it for the wrong reasons. 
We want to do it because we enjoy these books and we want them to look as good as we possibly can without getting into restoration. We don't want to restore. We just want to get rid of defects. You know, we're not adding anything to the book. We're taking away some stuff that's happened over the years. So yeah, excited about this book. This is going to be a lot of fun. Really, this is going to be probably one of the easier books that we'll ever do. Um, it's already clean, but I'm going to go ahead and that's the next stage of the process. We'll go ahead and just give it a quick cleaning. Uh, I do see a couple things that probably can be cleaned up and we'll get that taken care of next. So the initial press is done. So let's go ahead and get this thing out from the initial press. So I just wanted to see what the book looks like after this first press before we decide how we're going to proceed. So always exciting to get the book out for the first time after that first press to see what we have. Sometimes it's just miraculous and all of the defects are fixed. Sometimes it's like, okay, we need a bunch of work to do. So let's see which case it is. So it actually cleaned up a lot. This spine looks really, really good on this book now. Wow. This might be the best spine up for, you know, the best result on a spine after an, an initial press that I've seen yet. There wasn't a whole lot going on in this book anyway, but the three or four little areas there was something are just completely perfect now. I don't know if you can see that. This book looks really, 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 really good now. I uh, might need to do a little work on that corner. Kind of a little indentation here. It should be an easy fix. That's it. Holy cow. That is really cool. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, a couple areas on the spine here I could probably can work on a little bit. Then I'll hit all these areas at the same right after that with the tack iron. Maybe a little bit of moisture. And then we'll press it. And I might go ahead and leave it in the press for 24 hours this time because I think there's a chance that could be our final press. We could, we could get by with only two presses on this book. That would be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I think I could prep this book for the final press in five minutes, literally, after I heat up the tack iron, you know, which is pretty awesome. And I think this book's almost ready to go. Yeah, so let's move on to the next stage and get that done. I just want to show you how good this spine is after working it. Look at that. It was covered with ticks just a minute ago. Now look at it. 
Still got some color breaks there, but <laughs> just literally just a couple minutes. Eh, about 10 seconds for each tick. There was about, what, eight on there, so I'm not sure. I was able to get two ticks at once sometimes. I'm showing you so that it's not the board doing it. I'll take the board out and we'll look at it here again. Keep the center support. You can see, infinitely improved. You still see some of the creasing there because you can't get rid of that. It's not showing up as well on white, but those would be color breaks if it were a darker surface, but you can kind of see where the tick is and the lack of an impression or dimple now. It's not indented as bad, if any. Even able to clean up these spine tops and bottom a little bit up a little bit of the blunting if there was any. Yeah, it looks like it's ready. Oh, you can see the corner as well. It's all cleaned up. doesn't have quite as big of a crease to it. It still needs to be pressed there, you can see, but it's infinitely better. So this thing is ready for possibly the final press. I'm going to put some moisture in some of the worst areas. Maybe on the spine, just clean it up a little, I mean a little bit, add a little bit extra moisture on the corners that need it. That's pretty much it. Let's put this thing in for hopefully the final press. So it's been about 14 hours in the press. Hopefully this is the final press. Let's see what we're looking at. I'll probably take a look and if everything looks good and it's CGC ready, I'll throw it in the cold press for another 12 hours and then ship this thing off. So let's go ahead and take a look. Always an exciting time to get this thing out. All right, let's take our sandwich apart here. Oh yeah, I did this one cover, back cover up this time because that was where most of the defects were still on the book. Put it more closely, more close to the heat source or whatever. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. This was pretty beat up here, the spine. See what we got here. You know, those are some pretty significant little mini creases there from uh, from the spine ticks. I might be able to clean those up slightly more, but I'm never going to get them a hundred percent. So, at the grade we're expecting on this book, it's just a matter of whether. Would cleaning these up and getting them 10% better make a big difference on the grade? So let's go ahead and look at the rest of the book first, and then we'll make a decision on whether I want to do some more work on that spine. Uh, corner looks about as good as we could hope for there. This one looks okay. I don't know. I might be able to clean that one up a little bit more. I just have to... Yeah, I'll have to look more closely off camera. That one I think I can smooth a little bit better. That one is not as good as I was hoping. Okay, well let's go ahead and look at the front cover, see where we're at. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes your final press is not your final press. Okay, this front looks great. <laughs> yeah, it already kind of looked good, but it I think that part, at least the spine, is done on this book. There's nothing else more we could think to do. This corner looks great up here. This one looks really good here. Just making sure there's nothing else crazy going on here. Okay, front cover is, is done. I, I can't do anything else to the front. So what grade are we looking at here? Let's get a let's just um, do a reality check here. So yeah, this book was an 8.5 originally. And I thought maybe we could get this to, I think I was looking for a target of maybe 9.2 at the most, but 9.0 to 9.2. Certainly 9.0 would be good. So have we gotten to 9.0 here? Based on the front, um, I think we're capped at 9.2 because of this little tiny crease on the top right. It's similar to my X-Men 101 has a similar crease on the bottom, and I think it capped it at 9.2, so... Um, I think we can get 9.2 with this book, based on the front. Now, is this going to hold us back from getting 9.2? This corner. That's a tough one. I really don't know. Something tells me, you know, that I probably should just go ahead and, and bite the bullet and do a little more work. I'm not in a rush. I'm not going to rush this book off. I think cleaning this corner up and maybe doing a tiny little bit of work on the spine... 
could give us maybe a slight percent chance better of getting 9.2 versus 9.0 because I think we're at 9.0. I think we got that locked up. I, I mean, nothing's a lock with CGC. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that nine times out of 10, I think we're at least getting a 9.0 here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more work on this area right here and then decide on the spine. And I might not need to press this book again. I might just put some heat on this, smooth it, maybe hit it real softly with the ball bearing and just see what it looks like. And then maybe quick press it or just see if we're good enough. If it's not curling or anything like that, we might just roll with it and put it in the cold press for 12 hours. I don't want to press this book again unless I have to. I like to do it the minimum. But I'm going to go ahead and do that here and we'll see what it looks like. Much, much, much better. All right, I'm going to leave that alone. So now just to, I'm going to add a little tiny bit of moisture. I'm not going to do anything else with the spine, I decided. I think we're good to go. I'm going to add a tiny bit of moisture here. Just put it in the cold press, and then once we take it out of the cold press, if everything looks good, we'll submit this thing off to CGC. All right, I got it unboxed. Here we go, Avengers 196. After all that work we put into it, we got it back from CGC so we can see how we did. This was an 8.5 when I got it. Thought a lot of the defects were pressable. I was very excited about getting this book to a higher grade. I thought I was able to get it to a 9.0 or 9.2. Now, just so you know, I've already unboxed this book in a separate video. I did all five. I couldn't wait, and I just had to do it. So I know the grade on this. But if you want to watch that video, I'll put a link in the description. Or if you want to wait till all five of these books, it should be part three of this series. If you want to wait till all five are done before you go back and watch that unboxing video, if you don't want it spoiled for you, um, you might want to do that if you haven't already seen it. And if you have already seen that video, well, now you've seen the process on how I got from the grade I started with to the grade it got now, which is a 9.6. And this is just nuts. I had no clue that I'd be able to get this book to a 9.6. And, but looking at it now, I'm like, this is just a crazy clean book. It's just an awesome book. So very, very happy to get this book from where we started all the way up to a 9.6. It's going again, my only copy, going in the personal collection. So <laughs> thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.